Thing, though an area of low pressure that's really going to make some impacts as it moves through so this upper level energy that's going to arrive from the west and right now we are still kind of putting things together as this moves through so we do see uh, multiple model runs and these each uh, the model runs come out at different times and we do see each color representing each different model run and so we are starting to see somewhat of an agreement this isn't too far apart but whether this uh, low moves inland or further to the west or east can make impacts with this. So the low pressure track has a big impact on the amount and type of moisture that you are going to see with this. So what we know right now is the east coast low, it's going to be likely. We do see uh, impacts for this weekend, rain, snow and wind likely, but who sees rain versus snow? Your temperature profile, meaning is there going to be a warm middle layer? Will it be freezing at the surface where you can get that freezing rain? Is it going to be all snow? Will it be rain and so that's what we're still monitoring now our latest model run shows some of the uh, heavier snowfall around Boston New York Philadelphia you can see even Elkins there and as we take a look back in time you can see how these model runs change so that's pretty similar from a Tuesday really uh, not a not a huge difference there with that. So we're still uh, monitoring and kind of tying this all together as this uh, low lifts to the north. Now, as it lifts to the north, we can see again that rain, that snow, that mixed precipitation with this. And then by Saturday night, we can see snow as well around this low. We do have the potential again to have those uh, northeasterly winds with this, which means we could have the uh, potential for a nor'easter. So that's going to be a powerful area of low pressure on the east coast and it's got those northeasterly winds with this and some folks who have not seen a inch of snow in the northeast may finally see snow with this from Washington DC it's been 716 days Baltimore it's been 704 days Philadelphia 703 so this may make some pretty big impacts with this as this system moves through now as we take a look at DC you're seeing those 40s but those overnight temps definitely can make impacts as this low moves through you may see some rain and then it with the right timing of this you can get some of that snow or that mixed precipitation with this